Hey y'all, thank you for watching. Uh, a while back in another video I made mention of a custom 1911 I had from STI uh, that they were building for me and I told you I'd upload the video of it and uh, this came in a couple days ago so here's the video. Haven't had a chance to shoot it yet. Um, a couple of my buddies that got the same one. We actually went, uh, made a group, did a group buy on this. About 40 of us went in, designed this through STI, I had to make it for us and all that. But a couple of other of, the, of my buddies that ordered this gun, uh, they shot it. They said, excellent accuracy, uh, real sweet shooter. So, real anxious to get out there and see for myself. But I have high hopes for it and I think it'll hold up. But, anyways, uh, this was built off the uh, the Ranger frame, so if you're there looking on their website, it's uh, it's pretty similar to the Ranger. A co couple custom features uh, specific to this gun that we had done on it, a little couple extras on there, but it's basically uh, the Ranger frame is what they built it off of. And you can see here we got some thin rosewood uh, grips here. These were actually made by another company, and they worked it out with STI, so they sh they made them shift it there and. STI fitted it and installed them there at the factory and then shipped them out to us. But you can see here it required a little bit of fitting right here for the ambidextry of safety. Uh, they had to do a little fitting there, but they got it all worked out. So it's a uh, real, real beautiful rosewood grips on it. And we actually too got a custom serial number. I have it blocked out with some tape, but we had a custom serial number on there so that way completely custom. Like I said, there's only about 40 of these out there. So that was. That was real, real neat for for me. Nice feature I like there. But anyways, it's a like I said, it's built off the Ranger frame. It's a commander size 1911, uh, just over four inches on the barrel length. Um, real, real great size for concealed carry. This is probably gonna be my primary concealed carry weapon. Uh, probably have this with me every day. And uh, nice commander size, big enough for good accuracy, but still small enough that it's a little bit more concealable, and uh, you don't notice the weight as much but like I said we got uh, custom grips right here rosewood grips uh, we got checkering on the mainspring housing also on the front strap like that gives you a real good grip on it feels great in your hand and we also got a beaver tail grip safety skeletonized hammer skeletonized trigger uh, ambidextrous safeties like that uh, we have uh, serrations here on the front and on the back um, got a bushing barrel two-piece guide rod it's actually uh, I think it's the recoil master um, recoil master guide rod in there and uh, the sights on this I absolutely love the sights are probably my favorite thing about this uh, you can see here we got Trigicon uh, night sight on the front white dot like that and on the back here it's a TAS tactical adjustable sight uh, blacked out on the back and there's your sight picture right there. Love that. Love the blacked out on the back with the, with the one dot in the front. That's my preferred sight picture. It just keeps it simple and makes you focus on that front sight. And uh, like I said, this is actually a night sight. And then back here you have that green bar. That'll actually light up at night uh, so they both glow. And like I said, this is adjustable sight. It's real low profile. You can see it's not very big at all. And it's completely adjustable. Uh, windage and elevation. Windage and then... Uh, elevation as well or windage and elevation but uh, real real durable and low profile it's not like some of the other just sites that you see that are freaking huge on there this one's real real small compact adjustable love it uh, the trigger pull on this is, is awesome uh, love the trigger on this real crisp clean breaking smooth uh, which is what you'd expect from a 1911 trigger but it's really really great trigger pull on it I uh, haven't shot it yet, but I have high hopes for it. Should should do pretty good. Uh, and one thing also too I really liked about this is uh, with STI each each of their each of their guns has a custom slide to frame fit, which uh, this slide was made specifically for this frame. It was hand fitted to this frame, so you get a really tight fit. There's literally no wiggle in this at all, and that's just one thing I think that sets them apart from other 1911 manufacturers out there is that. Uh, their slides and frames were made for each. Each one is custom made for each other. Like I said, if you take the if you take the tour up there, if you're ever in Georgetown, check them out. Take the tour, and you'll see uh, that whole process. It's a really really great process to see. It's neat to see how they uh, they, they they manufacture them. But they are each of their slides is hand fitted to the frame, so really like that. 
And also, there's not a sharp edge anywhere on this gun. Everything is beveled down, rounded out. Not a not a sharp edge anywhere on this gun to be found. Uh, feels great in your hand. And uh, the finish we have on it is the black nitrite finish. It's real durable. It's supposed to hold up really good, be scratch resistant, all that. And we actually were able to get that same finish put on our magazines. Uh, we actually only one magazine with the gun, but uh, they were able to put that black nitrite finish on there, so it matches the matches the gun because they around of course sticks out a little bit. So that was that was real real nice that the uh, were able to do that finish for us, but. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, like I said, this logo, Texas Bow Hunter. Uh, be sure and check them out, TexasBowHunter.com. It's an online bow hunting forum. Uh, real great group of guys, a lot of good information on there. If you're into uh, bow hunting, live in Texas, check them out. Even if you don't live in Texas, still check them out. Uh, real great group of guys on there. A lot of good information. So uh, check them out. But it's a, it's a great little gun, real smooth. Can't wait to take it out and shoot it but if you have any questions let me know uh, I'll do my best to answer them uh, I think that's about it uh, thanks for watching and uh, I guess I'll see y'all next time